This is an outdoor rated wire. It's a THHN wire, all right, which means a stranded wire. So this is direct burial or um, or and, and sunlight resistant, all right. And then you got to get outdoor uh, connectors for it. All right? The nice thing about having one of these wires like this is um, they're stranded, so you can move them a little easier. But you always remember that your black is your S1, your white is your S2, and your red is S3, and then you have your green as your ground. All right. So you can easily wire each one of these. Make sure you keep the uh, communication wire with the line set that you're running. Uh, the unit runs with 240 volts, so it's not like it, it lowers the communication voltage to the indoor units. All right. So you still have high. You actually have high voltage communication lines going. Uh, to the indoor wall units, all right? It's actually two power lines, a ground, and a communication wire, all right? But it's still all high voltage. All right, I just wanted to give you a full amp load, all right, reading. So it's 15.21 amps, and that's with all four units running. All four indoor units are running, uh, and the outdoor unit in cooling mode, and it's about 90 degrees outside, very high humidity. It's the first time we're turning the unit on. All right, so once it gets the humidity out, things ought to ramp down a little bit. All right. But that's where we're at. Just wanted to show you. All right, so here we have the indoor unit. And uh, I like to leave these tape, these pieces of tape on here and actually tape them up the back. This way I can pull this part down and unlatch that if I wanted to in order to disconnect the, uh, the unit. All right, so now I'm done. So I'm going to go ahead and cut them because I don't need them anymore, right? Just like that. All right, so it's just these pieces of tape that came with the unit. All right, that's all that is. So you just have those two sets of tabs one here and one here, okay? So that's a nice little trick I use before I'm done. All right, um, in reference to the filter, all you have to do is just pick that up and bring it down. All right, it's a very thin filter and this is uh, like an allergy filter right here, all right? It just snaps right in. But that's that's where that goes. All right. All right. So that's that's how that works. And then we have our line voltage electrical is over on the right hand side. All right. All right. So that's that. Uh, in reference to setting the thermostat, the wall thermostat. When you turn it on for the first time, that time's going to be blinking. All you have to do is hit the clock, press over whatever time it is, all right, and then you press it again and it sets it, all right, and that's it. And then you can just control it via your thermostat. For Econo Cool, you can control the uh, fan speed. This is a bedroom, so I have it set at one or two, all right, in reference to the fan speed. And I usually just keep it out here. That's an auto. All right, so regardless of whether it's in heating or cooling, it's going to keep the temperature at 70 degrees. All right, so that's that. And then if you need to reset the clock again, you can just press the reset. All right, and then it'll just start blinking again, and you can reset it from there. All right, but that's that. That's the operation of the unit. You just wash the filters out. You check them every month and a half of running time, or maybe even every month of running time. All right, but uh, very efficient system. All right, so I just checked everything inside. You know, obviously we know um, everything sweating is just a sign that things are working well. Does not mean sweating does not mean the charge is right, although we know the charge is right because I just weighed it in. Um, but uh, sweating is a good thing too because it's, it's uh, attracting humidity on and, and the temperature is lower. Now you might be asking why is the liquid line sweating? And that's because the thermostatic expansion valve is actually in the outdoor unit. So that's why you have to have both insulated. It's different than our normal, uh, regular, conventional split system. Um, but uh, so, so both of them actually have to be insulated. 
so you want to have insulation on that just so it doesn't lose any temperature on the way to the indoor foil. All right, but that's it. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect and um, go ahead and uh, put everything away. Hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.